Hi guys! Alright, so yesterday, September 30th, was the day that McDonald's Canada premiered their plant-based burger, the PLT. And as I told you, I would head to the nearest location to try one. So I went yesterday evening with my daughter. Uh, we went to Woodstock. That was the closest one to me. It was still like a 45 minute drive, 45 close to 50 minutes. And uh, here we are. I'm just going to show you us arriving, of course, trying the burger and uh, tasting McDonald's first ever PLT, which I obviously had to order without the cheese and without the mayo, but it's easy to customize that to make it um, not have any animal products on it. I'm also going to play a little clip of what I taped with the the guy who was serving me, you know, it just sort of highlighting, unfortunately, that it is cooked on the same grill. But I think that's the same thing with A&W. PETA's stance, and many people's stance, is really that that doesn't make it non-vegan. It might gross you out, but cooking on the same grill does not require the death of another animal to make your product. And we still have to support this, buy this, or, or vegetarian. People have to buy this in order to show there's a demand for this and then we hope that will lead to less animals being killed for the sake of making burgers when there are options that are good enough, um, better for you, not health food, but you know, it's still better than the extra cholesterol in your diet that people are uh, dying from heart disease. But anyway, let me stop rambling. Let me get right to this video. Yeah, I'm just curious, so the, the PLT, has, has it been selling? Yeah. The, the new plant-based burger, you guys been selling a lot of that? Today, uh, it started today and I just sold six of them. Like, okay. like my last customer actually. Oh, okay, yeah, I just yeah. ordered a couple, but I just, obviously I put, for me I put no mayo and no cheese, so that'll, whatever I've customized Are you for. like completely vegan or vegetarian or something? Well, I, I'm vegan, but I understand there's going to be, going to be cooked on the same time. Okay, as long as you know that. I do know that, yeah. Okay. But I still don't want to have the cheese on there, you know what I mean? I'll uh, yes. minimize it as much as possible, but yeah. uh, that's uh, part yeah. of how we have to live in a world that's not uh, vegan, right? If we want to make it completely, like, no meat juices or anything, we have to get a whole new grill. Yeah. Uh, extra potty. Well, even for vegetarians, if they're not eating meat, they wouldn't necessarily like that either, but it's a step forward. True, yeah. Yeah, closer we get there, and it's only for a limited time because, like, we heard that Tim Hortons and AMW had the Beyond Meat, and apparently their stock ran out. And McDonald's didn't want to do that because they wanted out of constant supply. Yeah, there. absolutely. So it took us a little bit longer to get there. Oh, okay. And it tastes okay. Have like, you tried it? yeah, they they yeah. kind of asked us to if you want to. You can. Okay. Yeah, you can. It tastes like a pea aftertaste almost, but it's not that. Okay. Well, it's pretty good. To trying it. Okay guys, so here is the burger. Of course I got no mayo, no cheese. Um, I'm gonna add my own mayo to that. And I forgot to bring my own cheese, but that's okay. Now when I was at the Veg Fest in Toronto recently, uh, Chosen Food was giving out packets of vegan mayo. It's so, so convenient to have with you. I will say that was a little bit sweet for my liking and I'm not the biggest fan of this vegan mayo but it's fine on a burger and it's especially nice to have the packets to go. Okay, so I start to add my, oops, the mayo. It's not a lot of mustard, I might go ask for another mustard packet but that's kind of what it looks like, you know, your typical McDonald's fast food burger. And you know what? It is a perfectly delicious McDonald's burger. Now, someone said that it has a bit of a charred flavor, and it does seem to have more of a charred flavor than the A&W burger. Someone drove three hours from Michigan to try this. Anyway, uh, the only thing is it does seem a bit small. Look at the version I got versus their picture. But uh, it's still a great option. Uh, price point's a bit high, but you know what? That's what you get with fast food these days. I think it's important to support the meatless options so it will lead to less animals being killed and less of the world's resources being used. And for those of you who are watching not from Canada, but from the US, our fries here, our the fries are vegan. They're fried only in vegetable oil. No animal fat at all, so. McDonald's fries have probably saved many a vegan late at night um, before they brought in stuff like pizza pizza 
vegan cheese and A and W and of course Harvey's but it's not always open that late. Anyway, it's a perfect like, good burger and I'm actually shocked and having a moment of like, wait a minute, out of body experience. This is McDonald's. Yeah. Um, wow. Okay, so here's the sign for the PLT outside kind of at the side of the parking lot where as my daughter said, no one can see it. So this might be horrible, but I still felt hungry and so did my daughter. And right beside was a quesada burrito. So we went over and I got a Neon Meat um, burrito. It's just so tasty and delicious. I mean, I love burritos and... You mean tacos? Sorry, taco. We had burritos on the weekend in Ottawa. Tacos, burritos, Mexican food. I love it all. Anyway, so we got tacos. Um, yeah. All right, guys. How illogical is this? Quesada Burrito is donating sales from Beyond Meat to helping the planet, yet eating meat, which they serve, is one of the hugest impacts on the world's resource. Okay, so that was the PLT, McDonald's plant-based burger. Um, I mean, I honestly, as you know, my first video about this, the moment I heard this, I was like, my jaw dropped. I was absolutely floored and elated. This says to me that veganism, or at least plant-based, is going mainstream. I said to my daughter, I always tell people that when McDonald's jumps on this, we know it's here to stay. But my daughter reminded me, Arby's. Remember Arby's got so bent out of shape because people, someone reported that they were looking into a plant-based burger and basically the CEO was like over his dead body. So we'll see if Arby's follows suit with something in the near future, then we'll really know. But um, what do I want to say? So it was a 50 minute drive almost and uh, I don't want to say it was a letdown, but you know, I had these, this big high hope and that wasn't shattered. It's just that, I mean, I don't know. In that moment, I, I guess I wanted something to just extra wow me and I wasn't overly wowed at all. I mean, I found that burger was a bit small, especially for the price. I found that $22 for two uh, burger meals is a lot. I mean, I could have had a pizza, and as my daughter pointed out when we went out and saw Quesada Burrito, we could have had two burritos and a drink and the meal there for like $16.99. So I think it's overpriced, but I think that's general across the board with fast food these days. What used to be economical is now really like, this is not a cheap thing. But the fact that they have this burger and is, is just so amazing, and I hope it, it does well in these weird little kind of areas. I don't want to say weird areas, I know some of you live there, but areas that don't seem to necessarily represent the populace of where veganism and plant-based food might be really uh, enjoyed. Like I said, driving into Woodstock, there's that big uh, statue of a cow. I mean, you know, this is cow, cattle, dairy country. I mean, these are going to be people who are well-rooted in carnism. That's not to say they can't change, and maybe that's what McDonald's wants to see. If they like it out there, they'll like it other places. All right, guys, that's all for now. Let me know what you think. Um, I definitely not drive out of my way to get this again. Um, I do prefer that the Harvey's is 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 broiled on that like with a flame broil, so that tends to kill off the, you know, let's say the the anything that's been on the grill before, like any meat, etc., versus just being on that kind of slab where the juices can mix. I mean, that is my preference, but I still believe in supporting uh, vegan options where we can to help make that change. It's one of the reasons that McDonald's is doing this, because people have been supporting vegan options. All right, guys, that's all for now. See you in the next video.